is an intervention, Cole. We're here to help you. How do you guys know me? We know everything about you. We know that you need help. Serious help. No, I don't. Come with us. I really we don't. We need to help you. I don't. Come on. Come on, please. Cole. Please, just saying it. Cole, come on. What is up, guys? Leave my beard alone here. He's not that Please leave my beard alone. And today, I decided I was gonna be a little bit more honest with you guys and tell you something. So, I have been hiding an addiction from you guys for quite some time. It's a pretty serious addiction and I just, I didn't want you guys to think anything of me and so I never really told anybody. I'm addicted to necklaces. I just love necklaces. I don't I don't know why. I guess I've just grown up with them. You see, ever since I was little, my uh, my grandmother, who used to be a flight attendant, used to bring me necklaces from Hawaii where she would go. And she would bring back all kinds of cool ones. I actually have a bunch of them right here. So here we got one of my all-time favorite necklaces. It's a metal shark tooth with a little surfer dude on it. Love that one. It actually tore, and I'm very upset. Up next here is my medallion. This one looks a lot like one of the medallions from Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, my grandmother also brought this from Hawaii, and uh, it's really cool. Like, it turns gold in the sunlight. It's it's like silver, as you can tell. And when you take it in the sunlight, it actually turns gold. It also broke. Up next here is one of my all-time favorites. This is a brand new one that my grandmother just brought back last summer, I think. And it's like a fish hook. It's like a little wooden fish hook. Uh, I really love this one. In fact, this is probably one of my favorites that she's ever brought me. But as you can see, it uh, tore off of the necklace the other night like the the binding basically came apart and so I haven't been able to wear this one <laughs> I'm a fan of this kind of necklace with the little screw thing I can just screw behind my back because I can't get clips so those are my three most common necklaces that I usually wear but I've got a ton more on my table so I've got a bunch here that are like fish and crosses and stuff that I used to wear a lot as a little kid but I've just got this massive handful so here's a little turtle that I got. It's like a little big turtle with like a little, little wound up thing in the center of it. This one's cute. I think this one actually might be my brother's. I think I stole it. And last but not least, this is my guitar pick necklace. My dad got me this a little while ago when I was trying to learn guitar. A bunch of guitar picks in there. I can like take them out. See, there's a red one behind there. That's fun. I used to have one more necklace that I actually wore so much it wore out and fell apart like the whole thing it like rusted up and all the pieces fell apart like in my sleep but it was like this dolphin tail with these blue crystals in the center that my grandmother got me so thank you guys for watching also I wanted to say thank you guys so much for all the support you've shown on my house parody I got a lot of comments ace even came out of hiding and left a comment on the video, which was actually really cool. Don't forget, if you live in the Austin area or whatever, I'm gonna be down there the 16th through the 17th uh, for YouTube Creator Day. So drop by a Google headquarters and I will say hi and bully you. So that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. And uh, yeah, that's it. I still have no outro. I used to say don't forget to eat a potato, but I'm not a Minecraft page anymore. <laughs> Someone find me a new necklace. I'm out.